I feel this world flowing through me now and everything being projected within me and without me. How does consciousness differ from what I am and the chair I sit on? It doesn't. Consciousness is everything. Everything is conscious. You're not conscious inside the body. There isn't a center localized spot in which is conscious. Conscious is all appearances. You could even say there is no consciousness, there's only what's happening. And what's happening is aware of itself. So the chair is aware, not like you imagine, as in like the chair has a human inside that's aware. It's that consciousness is everywhere and in everything. The chair isn't independently aware, just like the human isn't independently aware. So you think, or humans think, that we're looking through these eyes and we're having an experience. And, and if you get into the subject, then you think that consciousness is behind here. But actually, consciousness is everywhere, in all things. There isn't a centralized looker. It just looks as if it's looking through these eyes. So if you think of a dream at night, when you dream, so tonight, Billy, when, when you're in bed, you have a dream that you're in the army or something and that you're practicing running through a field and hiding behind a bunker. And it feels like you're looking through Billy's eyes, the dream Billy's eyes at the dream. But actually, what's actually happening is it's all happening in your mind and all of it is your mind and you're aware from your mind perspective of all of it simultaneously. You're not really looking through Billy, dream Billy's eyes. You're conscious of all of it simultaneously. It's all happening within your mind, within your dream. But it feels like in the dream that Billy is having an experience, the dream Billy is having an experience and that he's looking at a separate dream, that he's running through a separate field but actually all of it's made of mind and you're conscious of all of it simultaneously, but just your dream makes it look like you're dreaming through dream Billy's eyes. <laughs> I said that so quickly, you might have to um, <laughs> rewind this and listen to that again. That was a great way to explain this. I'm seeing this too logically clearly, haha. -ha. I don't know. <laughs> But what is great for me to see now is the suffering which everyone is experiencing isn't even happening. It's because they have created a self which isn't there. Yeah, that believes they exist separately and believes that what they're looking for is found in time. That's where the suffering comes from. That one day you're gonna arrive and you're never gonna arrive. Freedom is here. In time, what you get more of is pleasure or pain. But the freedom is here. And there's nobody actually that suffers. Who is it that suffers? There is only what's happening. It's like giving everything back to the divine, like giving everything back to that higher power. Like rather than being this small, isolated creature that suffers, it's giving it all back and seeing that there's nobody ever suffering. Nobody suffered anything.
It's because just things appearing and disappearing for no one. But it needs to create a full self to know itself. Yeah, you could say that. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> he says, thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> he says, could go on forever, but there isn't any time. And then he laughs. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Nice to spend time with you again. Um, but always check my um, my uh, website just to make sure I am streaming because sometimes I can't because I'm away or something happens and comes up. So thanks very much. Bye.